I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Sasha Pruter, who's the chief product officer at Viewed. So one of your big highlights here is Viewed Broadcast Plus. What is it and why did you create it? Yeah, Broadcast Plus is our offering for everything related to linear TV, live TV, hybrid TV. Uh, we see in more and more regions, we see basically a very hybrid consumption of content with lots of content still coming from broadcast, cable, satellite, IPTV, but more and more content being consumed OTT. The public broadcasters or content providers in those areas have adopted to that and are providing lots of catch-up opportunities, digital offerings, IP-based offerings that complement the broadcast offering. And that means for the user, you need to have an interface, you need, to, you need to have an experience where all of this can come together. It's not just a channel up, channel down experience anymore. It is implementing these new technologies in an easy to use experience. And that's an, a program guide that you can go in, in, into the past. Uh, um, and a home screen experience where you can jump into the most favorite show, show that is in an archive. And all of this has come together and this is what we call Broadcast Plus. So what would you say is the target market for this product? I think we have two key customer groups. Uh, one are clearly uh, smart TV OEMs, which, where we work with a lot of them already. We, we do ship, uh, for example, with Sony, with uh, Philips, with Hisense, um, in Europe with Vestel, uh, already components of, uh, of this. So there it's clearly the market for um, TV manufacturer wanting to have a modern TV guide, live TV experience, but also bringing in on-demand content, like for example in the UK with uh, BBC iPlayer, having a full converged experience with like Freeview Plus, backwards EPG guide, and so on. So this is like our, our key market. But growing also are set-top box OEMs and pay TV operators who want to support the local broadcast standards, who have to bring in the on-demand content. Good example currently is in Spain, for example, with Loaves TV, um, where broadcasts are actually creating a more and more um, uh, used online experience, uh, online player, on-demand store, um, and operators in that region obviously want to carry this. So this is the other, uh, the other uh, target market. What essentially are you providing for those two groups, the, the smart TV manufacturers and the set-top box people? Uh, it starts with the technology pieces I mentioned earlier, for example, uh, supporting uh, HVTV in its very latest versions with optional modules like op apps, which is a fairly new experience where, where an operator can take can basically take over the TV experience or the set-top box experience uh, for their customers. Um, or things like media synchronization, so you can synchronize a second screen or a second audio stream to the video uh, playing. But those are technology pieces. What consumers want are then expanding that and showing that in an easy to use way. So it shows up in the EPG guide, the program guide, which we have built and is available. Um, live TV experience, home screen integration, and we deliver that across various different operating systems and hardware platforms. So no matter which SOC you're using, if you're using Linux or Android TV, uh, we have the modules that, uh, to, to integrate that there and so to give the user in the end a full end-to-end -end experience. Can you tell me a little bit more about the, the different components that comprise the, the product uh, and, and in a little bit more detail? The key components here uh, are, if I go very low into, into, into the stack, right, are for, right from integrating with the, with the silicon, having a media player and a rendering pipeline that work with every chipset, every specialized hardware, every middle, uh, middleware layer. But then going up the stack, it's of, of course supporting the broadcast standards, supporting local regulations, supporting um, optional standards for things like HVTV or ATC 3.0 or hybrid cars where not every, not every feature is necessarily re required but oftentimes wanted by the, by the content providers. And then going up the stack is then in finally a user experience that uh, we offer TV manufacturers or set-top box manufacturers or pay TV operators a way to control from a cloud backend. So it's not only uh, that the user gets uh, easy to use guide, on-demand integration and these kind of things, but also that the manufacturer or the service provider can manage it from a cloud backend, can do changes without requiring software updates to the device itself. And this as a whole package is Broadcast Plus.